English 121, Types of Field Research Sources, from the Allen and Bacon Guide, pages 191 to 226. There are many different types of field research that your text talks about that you can use to gather information when you're writing informatively or persuasively about your own experience. The first of these is data from personal experience, or narrative data. You may choose to write a narrative or a first-person account of your experiences with the aspect of the local ecosystem that you're investigating. This type of data helps readers identify with you as a writer, while also showing the writer's personal connection to the issue at hand. These types of vivid stories can capture the imagination of your reader and help instill their interest in the issue in the first place. Along with data from personal experience, you might also use data from interviews. If there is someone within the ecosystem you are investigating who is an expert on the issue at hand, you may interview that person. Interview questions need to be carefully planned and you need to be willing to deviate from your planned questions as needed. It's important to have a list of priority questions so that if the conversation goes in a different direction than expected, you know which information you need to find out before the interview is over. These types of interviews can provide engaging personal stories, enhancing the pathological appeal of your writing. If you only have a few questions for someone, you can send that person an email. Emails aren't substitutes for interviews, but they can be useful for getting particular questions asked and answered. Be sure to follow email etiquette by using an appropriate level of formality, explaining who you are and why you're asking the questions, proofreading, and sending thank yous. Be sure to please read and review interviews in the Allen and Bacon Guide Chapter 9 before conducting your interview. Along with interviews, you might choose to include data from surveys or questionnaires as part of your research pro process. If you would like to know what a large population thinks about some aspect of your topic, you can distribute and collect these questionnaires or surveys. However, like interviews, questionnaires need to be planned carefully. You can enhance the sufficiency and typicality of your evidence by expanding the database beyond the experiences of just one person in order to gather some quantitative data about a larger population. This often increases the scientific feel of an argument or an informative text. These types of surveys and questionnaires can often uncover local or recent data that's not available in published research but you have to remember to question enough people that your results are meaningful. Before you design a questionnaire, read the Allen and Bacon Guide Chapter 9 about how to conduct surveys and questionnaires. You also might choose to include data from observations or direct field research. You may go, you may go observe the aspect of the ecosystem that you are investigating. As you observe, take detailed notes. Your notes would provide and serve as a source of information. The information that you gather might be quantitative, such as some type of measurement, or it could be qualitative. Either way, this type of field research gives the feeling of scientific credibility to your writing. It also increases the typicality of your information by expanding the database beyond just the example of one person. It can enhance the ethos of the writer as a personally invested and reasonable researcher. These types of observations and field research data can be gathered in a systematic and effective way. Be sure to read about observing in Chapter 9 of the Allen and Bacon Guide. You also might choose to include secondhand data from testimony. Just like you can include a narrative of your own experience, you can ask others to write narratives of their experience. Each testimony would be its own source, or if they're very brief, you might compile several testimonies into one single source. This type of source is a little bit less persuasive than direct data because it's gathered secondhand or through hearsay. Sometimes it can be more effective to directly interview the person with the information instead. 
However, the persuasiveness of this type of source can be increased if the source has impressive credentials which the writer can state or highlight through attributive tags. You also might consider including data from more traditional library or internet research. Most ecosystems that you would investigate have some type of web information or researchable resources. Researched evidence is often very powerful, especially when your sources are respected by the audience. You can highlight the credentials of the source through attributive tags. To use a website as a source, you should explore the entire site and objectively summarize its content and then analyze the purpose, audience, etc. to decide if it's a useful source for you. Keep in mind all the different types of sources that are available to you as you conduct field research.